Today is a very exciting day. I don't know, can you tell that I'm excited? Today I'm getting a new camera, a Fujifilm X20. This is my third Fujifilm camera in the past year and as you might guess, I'm in love with Fujifilm. So here's my camera history. I grew up with film cameras, HP digital cameras and then Nikon D80. They're all good but nothing breathtaking really. Then, one year ago for my 18th birthday, I bought myself a Fujifilm X82. This camera is my pride and joy. It has a 16 megapixel sensor, a really nice kit lens, a selfie screen, and not to forget the amazing Fujifilm simulations such as Classic Room. I use this camera every single week for my personal work such as Instagram, family pictures, and my bi-weekly YouTube videos, and a few photo shoots like these. If you are looking to do anything similar to vlogging, I highly suggest using this camera. It's so amazing, the autofocus is great and also there's a brand new model, the X-A3 which has a few improvements over this one but they're pretty much the same. I was actually so devoted to the system that I bought straps, filters, extra batteries and an adapter that allows me to use Nikon lenses such as this one and this one. But anyways, this video wasn't meant to be about my X-A2 and Fiji Love, so I'm moving into the X-Q2. This super compact camera that I'm recording on right now is like no other. It has lightning sharp autofocus, an almost instant on and off time, and it's sound and picture quality. Right now it's pitch dark outside and I only have two lamps, this one and this one on in this room. I think the image is looking pretty clear. The X-Q2 is the perfect camera if you just want to put it some quickly in your pocket. But since I carry my X X um XA2 practically everywhere anyways, the XQ2 wasn't really of use to me, and that's why my parents use it now. And now for the moment that you're waiting for, the Fujifilm X20. camera came out in late 2012 and features the same 12 megapixel X-Trans 2 sensor as my small compact X-Q2. It has an optical viewfinder, amazing video and an extremely versatile non-removable lens that ranges from 28mm at f2.0 to 128mm at f2.8. This lens also collapses to a very small compact manner making the camera a perfect travelling companion. What's best to mention is the fact that it's a Fujifilm. This means that the camera's gonna be made amazingly in Japan, fully out of metal. There is no cutting quality with Fujifilm cameras. This all seems good and dandy, but why get a camera, Michael? Just why? You already have a few. Let me answer that for you. My X-A2 has one issue. Articulating screen, the screen that's meant to flip up, doesn't work when it's on anymore. And I don't blame Fujifilm, this is completely my own fault, I kind of got petrol in it in my last photo shoot. But anyways, since that little problem arised, I kind of I kind of decided that I need a backup camera if the camera was to fail. So the X20 will serve as my second camera for most of my professional work. It will produce me great results that I can't wait to show you and share. Anyways, thanks for watching.